guys, it's Natalie, and today's video is going to be on how I do my nails at home. I have really thin, really short nails. I can't grow them out for the life of me. I don't know why. And my nails do not hold nail polish. So I would always resort to using acrylics or gel nails or some kind of variation of a fake nail. And at the salon it worked, you know, good, but then it was really expensive. So I decided to try um, doing it at home, and I have found nails that work really well really inexpensive and they last a really long time. So the brand I use is called Nailene. The box looks like this. And I get the petite square ones. And this is $4.99 for $200 which is like a lot of nails for the price. Like way cheaper than you could get your nails done at any salon. And I get like I said the petite square and this is how the length looks. It's actually the perfect length for like a natural looking nail. Because that's another thing. I really wanted natural looking nails. I didn't want my nails to look fake. Because sometimes the ones you buy at the drugstore can look really fake. And like I said, I didn't even have to trim these. This is just put the glue, press it on. Really pretty. Really natural looking. And the nail polish I'm wearing is Essie's French Affair. Which is a really pretty like cotton candy pink. It's very vibrant. Like this is only two coats. It's very um, a very uh, strong color. So yeah, that's what I use. So if you want to know how I use these Nailene nails, keep on watching. Okay, so first let's get all our supplies together. You're going to need the actual nails. I use the Nailene full cover nails in the petite square size. Okay, you're going to need a nail buffer to buff out your nails. You're going to need a coarse nail file. I prefer to use a coarser one because since these nails are plastic, I find it easier to shape them with a coarser nail file. You can use the glue that comes with the kit, but I like to use the Beauty Secrets Quick Dry Nail Glue from Sally Beauty Supply. You're going to need some nail um, polish remover and then some cotton pads. Okay, so let's get started. First, you're going to remove any nail polish you might have on your nails. And then you're going to go through and buff each nail very well. The reason you buff your nail is to just remove any excess oil or nail polish you might have on your nails and it actually helps the glue adhere better to your actual nail. Now that the nails have been buffed, we're going to take our nails and we're going to figure out which size works best for each fingernail. Before you apply any glue, you want to grab the nail and place it up against your nail bed to make sure it's not too big or too small. You want to find something that's as close to your nail size as possible. Once you find the nail that works for you, you're going to take your glue and apply a small drop of glue to the center of your nail and then take that nail and place it as close to the cuticle as possible and press down for a few seconds. So once you have glued your nail down, you can take the file and just smooth out any rough edges. You can now continue this process applying a nail to every fingernail until you're completely done.
so now that you've applied all your nails, you're going to take your nail buffer and make sure to buff each nail very well. You want to get rid of all the shine off the nail and what this is going to do is help your nail polish to adhere better. Once you're done buffing your nails, you're going to take a cotton pad and some nail polish remover and gently wipe each nail so they're nice and clean and ready to polish. So the nail polish I'm using today is Essie's French Affair. It's a really pretty vibrant pink color and I'm going to go through and apply a thin coat to each nail. Once you've finished applying your first coat, go back through and apply a second coat to each nail. So once you let your nails dry for a few seconds, you're going to apply your top coat. I like to use Sechet Vite's Fast Dry Top Coat, and I'm going to apply a thin layer to each nail. So once you let your nails dry for at least a minute, you can apply OPI's Drip Dry Drops and this will prevent any smudges and make sure your nail polish dries quickly. So that's it, here's the final result. Beautiful manicured nails in just a few minutes. Alright guys, so that's it. That's how I do my nails. I've gotten it down to a routine where I can do it like in less than five minutes from putting the nails on all the way through to painting them. So it does take a little bit of practice at first, but once you get the hang of it, it works really well. And also I probably replace them every two weeks depending. Sometimes I do like I'll lose one, something will happen and I'll break one off or I'll crack one. But it's very rare. So far like they're very strong nails and they work very well. So. One more time, I'll show you guys what they look like. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.